Another trouble was that the Greeks in each of the little kingdoms and cities and in the islands made up different stories more or less without knowing what was being told over the sea or beyond the mountains. Then later, when minstrels traveled from place to place and writing became more common, and people began to meet those from other parts of the Greek world, they found that many of the stories did not agree. Here is the wife of Zeus, the people of Argolis would say. Nonsense, the Arcadians would answer. He married Maya, and they had a son called Hermes. What are you talking about? The people of Delphi or Delos would protest. The wife of Zeus is called Leto, and they had two children called Apollo and Artemis. Well, there was only one thing for it. They had to agree that Zeus must have had several wives. But Hera, as the most important of the immortals, was obviously the real queen of heaven. And as a woman would be, she was jealous. In the earliest days, the Greeks themselves often had several wives, as the people of Egypt did, and as the Turks and the Indians did until quite recently. In Greece, however, there was usually one real wife, and the others were captives taken in war, who were treated more and more as mere slaves. Well looked after, but obliged to do just as they were told. So, it was not difficult to think of Zeus or Apollo behaving in much the same way as a king of Athens, as Theseus, and of course over in Asia, kings always had many wives. That was where Troy was, so naturally King Priam had 50 sons, and Hecuba, the queen of Troy, was simply his chief wife. Each of the little Greek kingdoms, or city-states, had its own royal family, and each royal family liked to trace its descent back to one of the gods. It was much the same in England a thousand years ago. Alfred the Great was said to be descended from Odin, who held just the same place among the Saxons and the Danes as Zeus did among the Greeks. Indeed, if we believe the old writers of the Middle Ages, our own royal family, right down to the present queen herself, can trace its descent from Odin on the one hand, and from Antenor, who was the cousin of Priam of Troy, on the other.